In July 2005, 25 Hlingit, Haida, and Shimshin elders gathered in Juneau, Alaska to speak and listen and meet with one another, to tell stories about their lives, their clans, their nations, and their land. Stories about embracing family and community wellness. The year before, these same elders had met to agree upon a common set of traditional tribal values. Those values were then taken to the 69th Annual Delegates Assembly of the Tribe and unanimously adopted. They are as follows. Discipline and obedience to the traditions of our ancestors. Respect for self, elders, and others. Respect for nature and property. Patience. Pride in family, clan, and traditions is found in love, loyalty, and generosity. Be strong in mind, body, and spirit. Humor. Hold each other up. Listen well and with respect. Speak with care. We are stewards of the air, land, and sea. Reverence for our Creator. Live in peace and harmony. Be strong and have courage. These are the stories they told. My name in English is Joe Hodge, and I come from Jeff Chilkat and I'm of the uh, eagle moiety, and I can speak on the raven side. So <clears throat> I can tell stories that are of history to our people, but I can tell about our survival, our way to survive as Tlingit people. I heard at one meeting Joseph, uh, Charlie Joseph, he's from Sitka and his Tlingit name is Qatlat, and he is a relative of ours. Uh, so I'd like to quote what he said on our survival. He said, We think it's dis disappearing. It's not that way. Our way of life, those are coming up after us. They will understand. It looks like our language and our culture is disappearing, but it's not. It's just like us pouring water into oil our way of life drifts back up to the top. And he was talking about uh, other races overcoming us, but when something happens, we have a 40-day party or something, our way of life drifts back up to the top. Ye he would say, this is his interpretation of our culture, and I really believe it's true. A uh, lot of times we believe we're, we're almost gone, but we're not going to be gone, and because we're not, not going to be gone, is, I believe it's because we have faith in God. The other thing is respect. Self-respect, chushya'awudana, is what it is. Self-respect, chushya'awudana. Then you respect the animals, the fish. It's the same respect. You respect your people of your opposite uh, moiety. So it's important, respect is important. 
uh, when I talk about respect in school, I tell the children, respect your teacher. Respect your teacher, you'll go a long ways. And respecting other people's property is important. It's very precious in our way of life. That's the things I believe that's brought me so far in my life. I am 75 years now. And when I was growing up, my grandmother would say, listen to people, what they're saying, what they're talking about. When you become of age, I think you're going to become of age where you will remember things that you were told. You didn't uh, write it down, but it's recorded, recorded into our minds and to, into our hearts. It's true. What my grandmother said was just like taking a book, turning a page. The things that Charlie said years ago and Tommy and those other people around me, it's coming back. <clears throat> it's like anybody else. I really wasn't into my life that I'm in now. I drank some <clears throat> and I didn't think because some of the elders were saying it's it's going to pass away, our culture. But the big thing is that the missionaries, when they came around, they told us, no more speaking in your own language, and same way with the schools, BI schools. Uh, I know I tasted a lot of soap from the teacher because I was talking my own language, and it didn't taste good. And I heard one from Ketchikan say, it was pretty cold outside, and because the child spoke Tlingit, the teacher took him outside into a half-inch galvanized pipe and put his tongue on there, and his tongue froze on it. That's how we were treated, uh, but we still had our love for other people. And sometimes I believe because of our love, we lost quite a bit of our land because we let other people in, onto our land. And the word Tlingit is human beings. It's not just us native people. Tlingit means humans, humans. And my, my brother Ed Warren, I think, has a good interpretation on it. He said, there's no one race in this world. There's only the human race. We need to love each other. Um, just because I'm a Tlingit doesn't mean I can't love my other uh, people in this world. So <coughs> we were taught all this all along uh, to love other people. And the other thing is, <coughs> as I was Growing up, the elders in the community would talk, and they would tell each other, where your children and your grandchildren will walk, make sure you make a good path. Uh, that's meaning uh, I shouldn't show them up. the best way to go is to drink yourself and take uh, marijuana or stuff like that but to have a good trail so they won't have a hard time when they're coming uh, behind us. <clears throat> That's important because uh, we have to, we have to show this to not only our children. I teach uh, my language in the school in Tlaquan and they're paying attention to the uh, values that Dr. Walter Sovpalov put together think it values, they they use that, and we probably have about 40% non-native. And Christmas time came around, and I said, they wanted us to just have a think it way of Christmas program. And I said, I don't think it's good. I think we need to have other races tell us how they celebrated 
Christmas in their culture. So they're doing that now and it's bringing our children back closer together with other races. So it's important that we don't just believe in our own self. Uh, in a way, I have to, but I still have to love my other race of brothers and sisters. <clears throat> and this is the way we need to be. And if this was happening in uh, where Saddam Hussein is at, it would be quiet over there, but they just had one race they were thinking about all the time. Nobody else was going to touch anything. So I I really thank uh, Lincoln Nida and AFN for the grant that they received to put this together. And I saw Cyril George with his hat here. And usually we don't that allow that we have to put our item next to it so he's not standing alone. So even though he's gone, I would like to put our uh, brown bear hat next to his. Yeah, what they balance, we have to balance everything. So even though he's gone, uh, I make it look like my brown bear hat from our clan is here. And I thank the other group that's Alon here with me, and they pushed me up here as hard as they can. <laughs> and I thank all of you. That's, I think that's it. Gonna cheese, all of you. Yahoo, Ali, he, I, I, 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 Yaho